To take advantage of the SBase calculator cache, you're going to need to use the SBase CFG setting calc cache and its three sister commands calc cache default, calc cache high, and calc cache low. We in general refer to all of these as the calc cache setting, but in reality it's actually four different settings. The syntax is just calc cache and then a space, an application name, a database name if you specify an application name, and then either true or false. Now both application name and database name are optional. If you really want to specify a database name, you have to specify an application name too or it ignores the database name. And if you don't specify either of them, it's going to work on every BSO cube on the entire server. If you set calc cache to true, it's going to turn on the calculator cache provided two things are true. One, your BSO cube being calculated has to have at least two sparse dimensions, and you have to be calculating at least one entire sparse dimension. There's a minor exception to the last one. It's if you set cache equal to all inside of your S-based calc script, you don't have to calculate an entire sparse dimension, but in general, you have to calculate an entire sparse dimension, and the default is true. The other three sister commands I mentioned, calc cache high, calc cache default, and calc cache low, are to set specific cache amounts for either the whole server or a specific application or a specific database name in that application. So you have a line that says calc cache and then either high default or low, an application name, a database name, and then that n at the end is the value in bytes for the cache that you're trying to set. The default is 200,000 bytes, and yes, it's not in kilobytes or megabytes or gigabytes. We're still specifying things in bytes. The max is about 200 million bytes, which is equivalent to about 200 megabytes. I say about because it really has to do with how many blocks it can pull into memory and so on, but it's about 200 million bytes. The way you turn it on within a calc script is you say set cache space and then either high default, low, or off. High uses the high setting, default uses the default setting, low uses the low setting, off doesn't use the cache at all. And as I mentioned a second ago, if you say set cache all, it's going to use the calc cache even if you're not calculating an entire sparse dimension. In my simple SBase CFG file, I have three calc cache lines. Now I didn't bother saying calc cache true because true is on by default, but I did want to override the default calc cache value and also set a high and a low. So I say calc cache high and set that to a million. Calc cache default and set that to 300,000. Calc cache low and set that to 200,000. And then within my SBase calc script, I can say set cache high default low off or all. Oh.